In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Google domains to your Shopify store. So I'm using an example store here, but I'm going to go and show you step by step how you can connect it. So first you want to go to Shopify, go to your dashboard on Shopify. And then if you go to settings in the bottom left hand corner, it will bring up this menu here and you then want to go to domains. So once you're in domains, you won't have any other domain except from the default one by Shopify. But then you can go to connect existing domain and here you can type in your domain. So I'm going to go to Google domains. I'm going to go to my domains and I'll choose a domain to show you like as an example. So here I am on my domains on Google and let's just say tutorial guide on YouTube. We'll use this domain. So what I can do now is I can copy this domain. I can then go back to Shopify, type www. and then simply paste in the rest of the domain, then click next. It's then going to recognize that you're connecting a Google domain. So because it's a Google domain, we can get it connected automatically. So click here where it says connect automatically. And then this new window will pop up here. It should then log you into your Google account and it should recognize here your domain. If it does, just click on yes, connect, and that's going to update the records manually or automatically, sorry. So click yes, connect. And then it says now it's connected to Shopify. So now we can close out of this window and Shopify are going to connect it automatically. So there you go. And now we can just go ahead and click on our domain. And if we wanted to, we can go ahead and change the domain type and make it our primary domain. When it's your primary domain, so we'll make it our primary domain here. And now this should take us to our Shopify store. It can take up to 24, maybe even 48 hours to be fully updated. Yeah, you can see the DNS isn't working right now, but just give it a day for it to update and it will work eventually. Actually, I just noticed I typed in the domain wrong. So look, if we get rid of this tutorial guide on YouTube, which is the domain, you can see it now does work. It's all up and running within around five minutes. I hope that video helped you out. Let me know in the comments if it did.